What is going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another video. Today we are doing the first ride on my 2020 Grom. I did ride it home from the dealer, but I wasn't really happy with the footage, so we're gonna rerun it and to this will be like a proper first ride. It's bone stock besides I put the grips on. I did install my pro taper bars, but I need to get longer clutch cables before it'll actually work. Okay, cool. First impressions immediately, this thing is so, like, the wheelbase is so short. It's not even necessarily how small it is. It's because, like, a TTR 125 is, like, this size, but the wheel sticks so much farther out. It definitely kind of reminds me of, like, a scooter. Yeah, that, that's the best way to describe it. It feels like the front wheel is like underneath you. It's a whole nother game compared to the S1000. I actually have to like watch out for cars. I can't just teleport away. I don't know if I can go speed limit on this road. We got no cars. It handles really well. Like, cause it has like a supermoto tire. Like it has a round tire, not a, um, a dirt tire. It'll probably do like a little over 50 if I redline it, but it's a, brand new engine so i'm trying to not redline it honestly like i hated on groms for a long time this thing's pretty fun because i can be in a t-shirt and i can go ride and i can go have fun and not be like this 1000 where it's like a life or death every time i go ride the stock bars suck the stock bars feel like trash uh, the pro tapers i got were like i think they were like 60 bucks and they make the bike feel so much better What do we got over here? Shall we go explore? Oh, it's locked so you can't open it. I probably could pick the Grom up, but we'll come back another day. I don't know how people wheel these things in second gear. Maybe when you mod them, they're a little bit better. But see, like the cool thing, what I like about this bike, I can't ride, like I would never come ride this on my S1000 because it would be so boring. But going 30 miles an hour on this bike, it's like basically it's top speed, so it's fun. Yeah, I don't know how people get these things to wheelie. I ordered the clutch springs, that'll definitely help. See like, like this is why you buy a Grom. Like I'm doing 20, 30 miles an hour and I'm having fun. No need to go do buck 50 to have any fun. <laughs> so you can't do stuff like that on a sport bike. I guess you can, it's just much more scary. That's like, I wanna get an exhaust for this thing but I kind of like having it this quiet because nobody notices me, which is just nice for a bunch of sh shenanigans. The only like, the stock bars suck and it definitely feels slow, but I mean, it's like nine horsepower. So for a nine horsepower bike, it does all right. Yeah, it definitely feels awkward when I lane split because I can't go as fast to like get away from people. So they like have to slow down for me. We'll try the highway one day. Maybe when I get some better gearing and it's broken in so I can actually redline it. One thing I'm really liking about the Grom so far is it seems to get super good gas mileage. Like I'm curious to see, and it actually has a fuel bar, which is nice. You can see how much fuel you have. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. This is the spot. This is the spot. Here we go. See if I can jump it. <laughs> I don't know how people do sit downs. Maybe if I sit on the back seat. 
Maybe. Yeah, if I sit on the back seat, I can kind of do a sit down. What's hard about wheeling these bikes is it takes all skill, zero. I can't rely on the power like on the S1000. When I get the handbrake, that'll help too. The stock suspension isn't too bad. It's not great, but I wonder if this guy's gonna come talk to me. I grab, I drag foot peg through that turn. No, nothing to say. Nice. And I think it would be much faster if you rode it and you were like, 110 pounds. I'm like almost 200 pounds. So it's definitely noticeably slower with me on it. You can also do a five speed conversion, which would help get that little bit of extra oomph. Okay. Come on, keep that momentum going. Aw. <laughs> little stoppy. See, the brakes are powerful for sure. But that's also because of how I did my brake in. I'll show you guys proper brake in soon. All right, come on, let's go. Cause it would definitely help if I had like one more gear. There we go, 45 on a downhill. Let's go see what's over here. Oh, here we go. <laughs> See, once again, never ever would bring the S1000 here. Oh, here we go. It actually does handle pretty well, but it needs... You just would be at like... It needs a really tight canyon in order to have fun. Here we go. Recommended 25. Might actually be able to have some fun. Get these scooter tires hot. <laughs> yeah, no, not anything crazy. Let's go, come us. Oh man. <laughs> I'm gonna need a fork rebuild soon. Honestly, I'm really happy with how well this thing handles. It's like, if I got some sticky tires on it, this thing would be fun. Right, I have no idea where I am. Stoppies. I wish I could do wheelies. Definitely can't get on the highway. So we're going straight, I guess. Oh, okay, I know, I know where we are. We're good. We'll get over and we'll see if she comes to pass. I'm doing my top speed. We got to chill. <laughs> Look back over does not acknowledge me. Most California girl ever. California people are something else. I swear. I need to go left here to, to get where I need to go, but that's the street I almost died on. So we're going to avoid that street. It's a 125. Yeah. Huh? Fast? No. Fast. Not fast, no. I think it makes like nine horsepower. Yeah. Okay. Use well. Yeah, thank you. That thing's pretty sick. An old dually F350. Ooh. I want to 
want to hang. <laughs> yeah, he left me. I like what's funny about people seeing me riding this, they probably think I'm like new to motorcycles. And like this is my first bike. Little does everybody know. I have like a 200 horsepower bike at home. That was a pretty high little stoppy. I like how much cleaner it looks without the mirrors. I feel bad for the people that gotta go around me. All right, here we go, Let's see. Don't kill me, please. Okay, they don't feel like killing me today. Somebody had a gnarly wreck right there. So I wish I could get up like a 20 mile an hour wheelie. Like that would be, I'd be more than happy with that. I don't know if that's possible though. We'll have to see, once I put the beefier clutch springs in, it might be able to pop up more. When you go to grab that next gear and it's not there. Where are they going? Oh, you turn <laughs> The mom was looking, the daughter wasn't. Guess I'm getting to that age. Oh, I thought it was another Grom. S1000 wouldn't have made that. Ooh. He put some respect on it. Oh, look at that M4 too. Comp M4. That green's pretty sick. Oh yeah. Only if I was on the S1000. See, I wish I could do like little circle wheelies right here. That'd be fun. I scraped my foot turning right there. Oh, 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 Tesla's getting gapped. Gapped. Come on, keep the momentum. There we go. Love the way you love. The guy with the beamer. Every single light, I'm like, got to get ready to do a quarter mile run. Nice. You see you ready? Am I voice or not? And speed limit. Like see I just can't even like It'll do it I guess, but oh school zone 25. I don't even know if we'll go 25. There's still tire marks here for me backing in the husky. Yeah, right here. A couple tire marks from backing in the husky right there. Alright guys, but that is it for the first ride. Thanks for tuning in. Pretty fun bike for sure. I'd say biggest downfalls are the bars. Top speed sucks. And that's pretty much it. Everything else is, oh, and the clutch spring, the stock factory clutch springs are super soft. But other than that, this thing's super fun. I like, I definitely enjoy riding it. But um, that is it for today's video. I will see you guys in the next one. Yeah, we just kids with a dream to get out. No, we gonna make it one day. I ain't got a doubt. I'm gonna do it for myself. I'm gonna do it for the crew. We don't care about you. We can see right through. Yeah, we just kids with a dream to get out.